from from as little as I can remember, subject matter has always been in my personal culture. Well, when I got to be like in my early 30s, I've always been a church goer, but I'm always like looking outside the boundaries because if the church was so great, everybody would be here. And so then I look at it critically. And anyways, that led me to listening to some wisdom statements from indigenous people in Minnesota. And, and then I ended up over here for graduate school in fine art in, in Wisconsin. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's real. Like here, present, like professors on campus. That's sort of how I ended up easily hooking into the land acknowledgement project. Cause it was just, it's just something that I'm always paying attention to. And I, and I'm eager to know more. So and I went over to the far West side to go to St. Dunstan's and all of a sudden it's like, I was home. Like, I was like, this is the church that I've stayed with thinking that there was some, some kernel there that was, was good and real. And, and St. Dunstan's was that church, Reverend Hassett, Miranda Hassett. She's, she's an artist. She's a singer. She's like, she's like a Renaissance woman, uh, like a Da Vinci, you know, she just there. I don't know what she can't do. question like I wonder what we would think about studying um the Ho-Chunk people for example since that's a nation that's closest to our property and I wonder if all of these land acknowledgments that are going up I wonder if St. Dunstan's has enough cause to um put up a, a land acknowledgement plaque and how do we feel about that what would that look like so for a year and a half we met like once every couple months and sort of absorbed another content area and tried to talk about it. So the land, the land acknowledgement committee was, was that opportunity. So that's how that got started. That's how I'm involved in it. Yeah, that's how we're supposed to behave on the planet. We're not supposed to be in the destination. We're supposed to walk the steps to get to the destination, which is something I really love about Ho-Chunk culture. There's, there's such reverence for the earth, the planet, our feet touching the earth, how we get from one spot to the next. And everything that we do with intention has purpose or consequence, sometimes both. Sometimes the choices are really difficult. That's, a, that's sort of the Christian faith aspect that resonates for me to the point where it's like, I need you in my life. I'm the one who's losing out here, even though I've gotten all of the status and all of the privileges as a white person. What I don't have is I don't have my brothers and sisters. I don't have the origin stories of who was on this land before me. I... I hope I can behave well enough to even hear a little bit of a crumb of reality from, from your world because I haven't had access to it and I've lived comfortably with the, the misdeeds that I get to live off of, you know, understand we're privileged. We really humbly ask that you accept our, our acknowledgement statement as a step in the right direction, even though we know it doesn't cover anything really other than our own guilt, basically, which is also important. I mean, when we do wrong, we should feel guilty. When we do wrong, we should repent because if we don't, we can't do better. If we just stay status quo, we kept, if we keep doing our white privilege things and then ignore the things that we're guilty of, we end up getting sick. We get cancer. We, 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 we hurt other people, you know, it, it's part of the teaching of my church, part of my faith. You have to admit your wrongdoing, and then you have to somehow offer that in some form, whether it's a I'm sorry, or a statement on a plaque, or a bit of money paid out in taxes. So first of all, I would say, yes, do it. Whatever, whatever shape it takes, don't worry about that. Just get together and do it. And um, there are so many uh, websites, podcasts. I here's here's what I would recommend: listen to Red Nation podcast. Listen, listen to at least three of them, because what you hear there are indigenous people talking real truth about their indigenous lives on a planet that they love, that 
there are certain people that would be us that are ruining it. And they love the planet. They love the earth. Listen to them. Um, get to know them. Find a way to engage with, uh, with an actual um, indigenous person. Find a way.